Certainly, when you're attracting investors of this nature, then you want to make sure that the ground is as appropriate to enable the business to run. One of them is the real estate law. Yes, hitherto we didn't have an appropriate real estate law that brings together all the players in the business. Those in land, those in the construction, the developers, those in the supply chain of, of materials, and those who are middlemen, brokers, and the marketeers, and ultimately looking at the market, the consumer. So this law has been crafted, and I'm proud that National Housing has been a key player in making sure that this law is in place. At, as we speak, it is before Parliament, and it is championed by the Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, with all the real estate developers. We hope and pray that by June this year, this law should in, be in place to enable and facilitate investment and business in real estate. Because when you come to this particular market, you're trying to find what is the legal aspect of me partnering with the people who are here in Uganda. But as housing, uh, housing uh, authority here in Uganda, we collaborate with them because they know the system, they've been in the system. So some of those legalities which have not been uh, handled yet, they give us some proper uh, counseling, which gives us a proper guidance for the future of what the government is planning. And also other parties we find here, that the rich, real estate agents, who collaboratively, together with them, we have advanced knowing, okay, how are we going to make sure that some of these disadvantages in this industry, we are able to fight together and unite together to, to win with the situations which we are facing, all of us together in collaboration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.